So I don't know if you know this or not, but with the previous versions of Twinmotion, you could be able to open it without having to go through Epic Games so longer. So, but when it comes to the newest version 2024, they have hidden it a little bit so that you have to go through Epic Games longer. But sometimes you can be in a location where you are not able to access the internet for some unknown reasons in 2024. Maybe you are unable to access internet all the time and you want to log in. So it becomes a problem when you have to go through the Epic Game longer. Of course, it also works most of the times, but again, the issue um, is, uh, I mean, offline, they have offline mode, but sometimes it doesn't work. So what I want to show you is how you can be able to open the latest version without having to go through Epic Games Launcher. So you go where you installed the program from, in your case, it will be in C. If you go to C, you will see something. You go to C, then you go to program files. You will see something here called Epic Games. Then you click on Epic Games and you will see not in motion. In my case, I had installed it. I chose where I want it to be installed. So here it is somewhere else. So I have to go where easy it is. So here it is. So here I have two versions. If you look at the previous version to motion 2023.2 and you click on it, you can be able to see that there is an X E file here that you can be able to run it directly. Okay. So this used to make work easier sometimes if you don't want to go through the hassle of having to log in to Epic Games account. Yeah. But now with the latest version 2024.1 where this is you click on it then you come to twin motion you click on twin motion and in motion then you want to go to binaries then you want to go to win 64 then at the bottom you'll be able to see it in motion cooked editor win 64 ship which is the application if you click on it it will be able to run so let me click on it you'll see it will, it will be able to run just like the same way you will open it via epic games launcher but like i said in my previous video because my laptop is pretty slow old it will take a lot of time before it opens but that's how you go about it and now i'm trying to contribute some money so that i can purchase a new one and be able to make in motion tutorials but of course if you are new here don't forget to subscribe to this amazing channel even if you don't like my accent of some unknown reason for some unknown reason you don't like my accent just uh, subscribe it will be helpful to help me get to a thousand so that i can be able to you know earn some money and buy a new one but in the process i'm going to try to be able to purchase a new one sooner 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 i mean when I get money so you can be able to see that it is at the moment it is loading so here yeah, that's the easiest way to go about it and I hope it's a trick that will help you in the future and you will be using it to be able to open to in motion without having to go through epic games launcher so in the first cases usually when you could open to in motion this way it used to have a lot of crashes but as of now i don't think that it is the same case they have really improved it doesn't crash a lot like way back then so even nowadays i don't experience clash now i mean to in motion crashing not like way back although nowadays i don't model a lot but i think they have improved it a lot so I hope you enjoy using Twinmotion in this time and if you want the best way of course is always to go through Epic Games Launcher that way you can be able to download more materials. I will also show you in the next one how you can be able to download more materials, how you can be able to use them uh, in your model. So right now of course it worked and now you can go to templates, you can decide what you want to do with your Twinmotion or you can open an older project you can go to open and you look for an older project in your pc and now you can be able to open it in the meantime i hope you stay safe and cool and see you in the next one